Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how sheet music can be helpful in FL Studio 9 to make remixes of songs that you already know, but you might not be able to read the actual sheet music. Now, sheet music is very easy to read once you actually take the time to sit down and understand it. It takes a little bit of time to study, but I'm very confident in your ability to study it and understand it. Now, Ledger notes are notes that occur below and above. Now, the notes that usually occur below are your bass, bass notes or your bass clef. This is your bass clef right here and this is your treble clef. Your treble clef covers the high end range. Your time well, your time is basically one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is the simplest, and it's going to be the most common time that you're going to find. In fact, to demonstrate that for you, pattern eight here, I have the metronome, which is already counting a th uh, four, four time. One two three four. 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 Very 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 simple. Now to make it easy to remember where where the notes are, something that you know has been always that has been taught to me for a very very long time is every good boy does fine in face, and it's going to be like this every. Good boy does fine and face. F A C E. Now, on to the notes and rests. Now, the notes and rests are named similarly, but they get different symbols. This is a whole, this is a half, this is a quarter, these are eighths, and these are, these are dotted notes right here. Both of these are dotted. They have the, their value is a little bit longer. We'll go into that in a moment. This is a whole rest, a half rest, a quarter rest, and an eighth rest. A whole gets four counts, or four bars, or 16 squares in FL Studio. And to demonstrate that in FL Studio, a whole is four bars. One, two, three, four, or 16 squares. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. A half gets two counts or two bars, which equals eight squares. So to demonstrate that, here you go. Two bars, four, eight, which is 16 squares, or, oh, not 16, eight squares right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A quarter gets one count or one bar which equals four squares in FL Studio. And to demonstrate that, just it's one, one count. One, two, three, four. An eighth note gets half of one count or half a bar, which equals two squares. And to demonstrate that, an eighth right here, that's an eighth right there. One, two, two squares. Simple. Very, very simple. Now, a dot after a note adds half the value of the note. So, say like you get a half note. Okay, well, which it gets which a half note gets two counts or two bars or eight squares. Well, we know eight divided by two equals four, so four plus eight equals twelve. So to demonstrate what that what that is, what you're going to do is I already have it up. So that's that would be a half right if you cut it off right here well guess what you gotta add four squares or one count so that's one two three four you gotta bring it all the way out to here and the same goes the same rule applies to any note 
doesn't matter. Now, for manta, it means you'll usually see this above the note with the dot, like a curved line with the dot uh, underneath it. And it means to hold that rest longer than its usual value. Hold that rest, hold that note or rest, okay? Now, a tie is a curved line, which I'll demonstrate to you here. Say, like, you'll see this, this kind of thing going over the notes. You, which, what that basically means is to play that note of the same pitch continuously, like un, one unbroken note. So say like you had two holes, the two holes would now actually equal, let's see, would actually now equal eight counts, eight bars, or 32 squares. Uh, dynamics for, for forte, which means loud. Uh, you want to play the note louder than its usual value, which I'll bring up this the scale here. I can br bring up a, gr a pretty good good example. You want to bring up the volume of all these notes all the way up, like as loud as you can possibly play them. So, in fact, let me give you an ex just show you real quick. Okay, uh, piano means to play the notes soft, so that means you need to lower the volume of all those notes, and it should sound pretty much like this. Oops, a little too soft. Okay. Crescendo means gradually play louder. What you're going to basically do is this. Come up to a climax. Decrescendo means that you need to play those notes softer. Gradually play those notes softer. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to gradually make the notes lighter. Like so. A long rest. Well, a long rest is nothing more than okay say like this number here is two and you have this symbol that means you need to play wait for two measures so you're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight play okay now uh, you can find books you can sh find sheet music anywhere you can even find it online um, I have a good book that I picked up that I kinda liked it's called guitar tab white pages volume one it's the second edition and I actually found the aerials in there from the system down. And uh, here's what I've got so far. Thank you.